somewhere to begin. I'm Rachel, and this is Aaron. We are board certified music therapists with Central Care Hospice. We are so glad that you are joining us. During this hour, we will be playing a variety of music and demonstrating the ways that music is an important therapeutic tool for healing. Though our practice typically involves live face-to-face -face evaluations and individualized treatment planning, this year has been anything but typical. Central Care Hospice has been listening to the needs of the community, and we're honored to be a part of responding to the need for support as we grieve extraordinary losses, losses of loved ones, routines, and hopes based on what used to be normal. When it hurts, sometimes we just don't know where to start. As music therapists, our experience has taught us that healing can start with a song. Here is somewhere to begin. Some 
We begin then with that all too familiar feeling. The one that's sometimes hard to put into words, but it's there, just under the surface. And it comes up at times when we don't expect it. It overwhelms us, demanding our attention. Loneliness, sadness, confusion. At this moment, give yourself permission to feel it. It's helpful to be reminded that so many others share these same feelings, though we can't gather to talk about them the way we're used to and that we want to. Our grief counselors have shared some sentiments with us that they've heard over and over from people in virtual support group sessions. Perhaps when you hear these words in the song, Poor Wayfaring Stranger, you'll sense that you're not alone, that you're connected to so many others who are just trying to deal with these complicated emotions and find a new way forward. We 
are just poor, wayfaring strangers traveling through this world of war. There's so much sickness, pain, and danger surrounds us. That you too feel all alone. Let's stop and sit a while together and help each other on a As we sit and reflect, allow yourself to miss them and remember. In his book, Finding Meaning, David Kessler speaks of how missing our loved ones is part of remembering them, and how you remember your loved one is part of their legacy. This idea is portrayed in our next song, In Our Hearts, by hospice music therapist Carolyn Kibo.
One way that we can process through these complex emotions is through journaling and writing out your thoughts and feelings. This can look like poetry or songwriting. It can also be as simple as writing down your memories. A benefit of writing these thoughts down is that you can look back and notice how your perception may have changed over time. This next song was inspired by hospice music therapy sessions I had with a patient who had used poetry to reflect on her life. Through her writing, she had worked through her struggles and found peace. The words associated with I will be can represent intentions or affirmations to help us remain focused on a healing mindset. We can even focus our attention to our breath, using the music to support mindful breathing. One way to do this is to inhale for a count of four. So one, two, three, four, and then exhale for four. Two, three, four. We'll try it again. Up, we inhale. And exhale for four.
Going for a walk in a natural setting, mindfully attending to the sounds of the birds, the rustling of the leaves, the smell in the air, the feeling of being connected to the ground in the middle of it all. This experience can be a healing one as we are reminded that we are part of the natural world, separate from our own emotional one. It makes sense for us to be there and enjoy it. Maybe your favorite natural place to be is near or on a lake, being carried along on gentle waves. It's familiar, it feels good, and even relaxing to just think about it, and we encourage you to do that right now. Singing with others has been shown in studies to stimulate those feel-good endorphins, which decrease pain and makes us feel good, even building resilience for the future. Singing makes us take deep breaths. It increases oxygen levels in the blood, and it cues our brain to be more alert and puts us in a better mood. Like gentle waves, music can help carry us at times. And singing together helps us to know that we also carry each other. The refrain for Lake of Mercy will be provided so that you can sing along with us. Stop. 
We're all so different, and it makes sense that we process grief differently, too. One thing that is certain for all of us is that it takes time. And so let it take time. David Kessler says we must grieve fully to live fully. Accept supports and tools offered along that journey. Know, too, that some twinges will come up long after you've thought that you've found a more peaceful, emotional place for yourself. But you will, be on, you will be able to honor your loved ones. You'll feel them as part of you and continue their legacy. Listen to their favorite songs. We can be grateful that music offers us a way to make this happen to keep their memory alive in us. Even in our darkest nights and the long cold winter, we can take comfort in knowing that the light and the warmth of the spring will always return. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
for joining us for this hour of music and support. Along with our hospice care teams, we serve hospice patients wherever it is that they call home across the heart of central Minnesota. We hope that you've enjoyed our program. If you are interested in participating in future music therapy support programming, please email us at musictherapygriefsupport at centralcare.com or call us at 320-259-9375 or toll free 800-835-6610. To be placed on our contact list. 